All right. Oh shit. Hi there. <laughs> Tonight is the night. I'm finally gonna do a tool belt setup video. Been meaning to do it for a while now, just haven't gotten to it. And of course I picked the one day that it's real feel of negative seven. Also, it works out because I really have to clean my tool belt. So I'm gonna like dump it out with you guys. We'll clean it and we'll see what I have in there. I probably have like 20 bucks in there. Swear to God, I, I, I could probably find some like batteries in there. There's a lot of stuff in there that I, I haven't cleaned it out in a long time. It's getting really heavy. Anyways, I'll stop talking. Speaking of cleaning though, I don't know if you can see, but I got some cleaning to do. I always do this to myself. I just let it get this bad and then I regret it. Because whenever I want to do something, I have to clean it first. So, let's clean. Oh good. This thing's pretty smexy, man. It's smexy. It's not sexy, it's smexy. This is a diamondback tool belt. Pretty sure most of you guys probably already knew that. I got this tool belt probably, I wanna say, like a year and a half ago. I think about a year and a half ago. I'm wearing the hell out of it. I've noticed that. Also, what I'm noticing is you can tell that this pouch holds most of the fasteners. You can just tell. See how that, you know? That's not really dangly, that's dangly. Interesting. Let's go through it, let's clean it. I'm not gonna go through it now. Um, I'm just gonna clean it real quick. Oh. Dude, I hate a bit. You know what? You got a place you really need to put like a, a very big toenail. Like really angle that thing in there. You could still use this. You could, definitely. I've seen people do that. I've seen people bend nails and then, yeah. Getting off track. Off track, Derek, off track. Oh my god. Ugh. Figured I'd show you guys this since I, I got a couple questions on it. It's my hat set up. I just got a GoPro clip. And I drilled four holes through it. And I lost a bolt. It came with that sticky thing, but that, that's not gonna stick there. So yeah. That's that, and I just clip it on, and you're good to go. Like I was saying before, this is the this is the bag setup. We've got a diamond back, we got a wrangle, we got a talent. Big six inch belt, love it. I do run suspenders. These are just Occidental, regular Occidental suspenders. It's like putting on a uh, a backpack. I love it. Like you just carry it around, putting on a backpack. Oh my God, it's way lighter than it was. You guys already know where I'm gonna start with. The beauty. I love hammers so much. I don't know if there's another carpenter alive that loves hammers as much as me. This is my M1 Martinez. I got this a couple months ago. I do switch off a lot. Just personal preference. It's like whatever I wanna swing that day. And all this is Occidental. I uh, 
I have the hammer sheath in the front, but when using hammers like these two, the T-bone and this, the rubber doesn't go in as smooth as the wood handle ones. That's why I got this guy, that, and I just like the way it looks. But I just poked two holes, zip tie, so it doesn't move around in there. We got my chalk line, that just stays up there. I have to replace this thing every two, two weeks. Then moving over, we got the speed square slot. This thing, they just need to make it tighter. Or like, or I know uh, Acrobus Leather, and I think Occidental does it. I don't know, maybe. But uh, Acrobus Leather, when, they, when he makes his pouches, he puts a fiberglass rod in here. And then the fiberglass rod just makes it so much sturdier and tighter and like your speed score just actually fits. This just feels like one of these pockets. Like it, thing just falls out. I don't understand. I don't, I don't like it. This is a Martinez. You know, I thought it would bend by now, but it hasn't because a lot of my squares bend. This is my old square. I just used a Swanson, regular Swanson. But now holding another square just doesn't feel right. That and I use this torpedo a lot. Pitch finder, everything. It's amazing. I usually put my eights, like my clips of eights in here. I don't have any, but my, like if I'm shooting off sheeting and stuff, that's where they go. Um, and if I'm shooting walls, I keep my 16s in here. I like to keep them separated, my 16s and then my eights. And I keep a few pole barns on me all times because these always come in handy. You gotta pull something together. We need a real long nail, use one of those. These two pouches are for my ham drives. So I got my eight pennies and then just the regular three and a quarter inch nail. And then also on this side, I just carry this deluge or delugi uh, cat's paw. Pretty nice, I just got this thing just cause I lost my other one. Um, but these, 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 oh. No matter how big your cat's paw is, it will always find a way to curl, curl up, slide right out. Always. I always drop my cat's paw. Just falls right out. I don't understand it. This side, my speed square, my cat's paw, just, they don't like me. They want to run away all the time. This side up here, I got my tape measure. I usually just carry a 30 or a 35. I do have a 40. Um, it does come in handy. I get a lot of questions about this thing. When I got this thing, I got one for Spencer too. I saw it and I thought it'd be pretty, pretty damn nice. It's like, cause when you're snapping a valley line, you gotta get your nail. Usually just use an eight penny nail or you can use your foot. I do that too sometimes, you just get your foot, but like who wants to do that? I gotta pull up my hammer, tack a nail, then put my chalk line on it, then get my hammer back out, or sometimes I just kick the nail, but get my hammer back out, take the nail back out, put the nail back in the, it's just so much. This, you can just clip it on the edge of the sheet, chalk line goes right in there, and then you just snap your valley lines. It's this guy, Occidental Tool Shield Chisel Sheath. I'm the only one on the crew that carries a chisel. They all made fun of me when I bought it. And guess who always uses it? Them. <laughs> I need your chisel. I need your chisel. I got just a marker, pencil. We got this really old Milwaukee knife that's starting to, starting to die on me. Had it since I remodeled houses in high school. I don't want to get rid of it. But it's starting to die. Speed level, just random. Empire speed level, nothing more to say about that. I carry Allen wrench set. There are spots, or where's the spot? Yeah, that for an Allen wrench, but they always go missing. And guess who else always needs it? The crew. To carry a Crescent wrench, cause no one else does. And guess who always needs it? You got it right, the crew. Crew always needs it. Comes in handy, hose is loose. Tighten that hose clamp. Uh, set in steel and stuff. We don't have a drill out. I'll use that sometimes. Um, I carry extra pencils. 
uh, nail set when you're setting doors and stuff we got to set finish nails sometimes um, what else more can I say about this pouch I really like them very comfortable even without the suspenders the belt is very comfortable sits high doesn't sit on your hips they're really compact they're very slim the amount of times I've had a cut knuckle and I've dreaded having to reach my hand in the tightest spots to get something they start to loosen out but still after a year and a half they are still super tight but what I do love about them is the the Cobra clip love the Cobra clip oh my god it is so nice so nice so yeah that's the tool belt um, basically that's what I carry every day I want to get an Occidental leather setup I've always wanted a leather setup I've never had a leather setup I just I just I just want one I'll still use this one but I want a leather setup just cuz why not that's what I, that's why it's like I got a lot of hammers this is the hammer that I made the video on it's a 24 ounce Vaughn I gotta stop just throwing them in the back of the truck because they get very rusty this does not feel as light as this I don't know what but it just feels it feels like this hammer to me these feel exactly the same and I know this is like way lighter than this but I don't know why but they just feel the same to me my absolute favorite hammer though is the Big Daddy Larry Hahn this is a deluge this is a 21 ounce this was my basically my first hammer that I framed with I loved it I love I still love it that's the hammer that Larry Hahn used like back then back then in those fine home building videos he used a, a heart 21 ounce or a heart 24 ounce and guess what I found one I found one and I did something with it a vintage heart the framer 21 ounce exact hammer that Larry Hahn used and I made it into a cane not just any cane it's got a mechanism in it cane sword I made the sword too it's got engravings it's got metal metal wire it's purple heart wood this little mechanism you push the button it goes down a little bit locks in I also have some more I want to do something with this then I just got these actually these are just regular Vons this is my favorite though with you see all that that's so beautiful I remember I'm gonna do something with this very soon I might make a video on it let me know if you guys want to see that I'll throw a cool handle on it and throw it into my everyday carry schedule before I let you guys go in March I think it starts March 24th through the 26th uh, I am going to the JLC live convention in Rhode Island the whole three days it's gonna be a hell of a lot of fun I hope to meet a lot of my YouTube idols. I'm gonna go to classes there, learn as much as I can. So if anyone watching this is gonna go to that, I'll be there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.